So to get you started, what we need to do is set you up with an account where you can go and buy some Bitcoin so you can put it into your Bitrix account and start trading and investing. Now there are two that I like, there's Coinbase and also Bitpanda. My favourite is actually Bitpanda, um, the fees are a little bit higher but it, I just find it a lot more user friendly, my limits are a lot higher and I can trade in and out very, very, very quickly. And I've had no issues with it so far. Um, I had a couple of issues with Coinbase, but uh, it's not been too bad to be fair. So what we can do is, first of all, you have to sign up. Now this is basically the standard process as you would go through through most things. So when we click on sign up, name, address, it's gonna ask for telephone number, all these types of things, and as you go through, it's going to ask you and verify uh, lots of different things. So you will need some uh, documents such as a copy of your passport in a JPEG format that you will have to upload at some point. So you're going to have to do all that. So what I'm going to do is just quickly sign in. So just bear with me guys while I just do that. And that will bring you through to uh, the verification step. Now what that will do is because you've added your mobile number to the account, you'll get your verification, it will come as a text generally it's a seven digit code so we're just going to input that in and away we go and we're in so this is what it looks like so at the top you have the current prices of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin they're the real key core coins then what you'll see is you know if we go down there's a euro wallet Litecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin. See, currently I don't actually have anything in this particular wallet because I don't, I don't use this one too much. Across the top, you've got buy and sell. So we're going to look at this in a little bit more detail. So it's just hidden behind where my screen is there. And here we have where you can buy. So you can buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin. If you're going across to Bitrix, I would say you want to buy Bitcoin. If you're looking at to buying some ICOs, then buy Ethereum. So as you can see, I've, I'm already set up, I've been through the verification process. It's very, very simple. It's uh, It will guide you through all the way. Now I have a, currently I have a weekly limit and that is of 500 pound a week. Now because I don't use this very often, um, you need to do obviously a thousand dollars worth of uh, digital currency payments on the same card to be able to increase your limit. Because I use a, a Bitpanda much more, my limit there is uh, way higher, so I'm able to do some bigger trades there. But as you can see, due to my verification, I can actually cash out or cash in with cash um, larger amounts. But I know uh, most people would like the convenience of using a credit card. So if we go back to buy and sell, which is just behind the screen. And the process is very, very simple. If we put 259, let's go 50, sorry. Now we can see we're going to get 0 0.81 of a Bitcoin. Um, let's see with Ethereum, do the same, 250. Okay, here we're going to get a full Ethereum. And what you can see here at the moment is for me to buy it right now, will cost 259.98. Now that's 259.98 which includes the total of the, the amount that I want to put in plus a fee. Now unfortunately it doesn't matter where you go, um, they, they put the fee on everywhere. I have seen a hack with Coinbase but you need an American bank account so I was all over that but uh, I just couldn't get to it. So for that yeah you really do need um, you just have to pay the fees. It's just the way it is at the moment. Obviously, as things sophisticate, there are other platforms come in where a lot of these fees will sort of eradicate to, to pretty much um, 1%, if that. So, really interesting, lots of things to come. So, you've got your account. So, here you can see lots of different wallets already set up. Again, as 
don't really know. I don't have anything in there because I don't really use this one that much. And and that's pretty much Coinbase. Now what I'll do, I'm gonna go to what is my favorite. So this is Bitpanda. I'm just gonna pop myself into the corner. So this is Bitpanda. This is my favorite um, platform to use. Uh, just my own personal preference and uh, I find it just easier to use. So quickly, I'm just gonna log in. So you just need your email address, password. Bear with us two seconds. So here we are in Bitpanda. And as you can see, versus what we had before, we have Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the addition of Dash, and also Litecoin. So uh, Dash has been very, very popular recently, so it's a great addition to uh, the portfolio here. So what you can see is that when you sign in and sign up, you automatically get a wallet. And what will generally happen is here you'll have a sign that says generate wallet, you click on it, and within two seconds, it gives you your wallet address. Then you can send money, buy, sell, and all those type of things. And we're gonna address that in, a, in another session. And then just as a quick overview, obviously we showed you Bit Coinbase, sorry, where you know, you've seen the online payments were 10,000, obviously here it's 300,000 euros, so it, you know, it's significantly more. And then the credit card payments, what we see is 500, is 2,500. They obviously start with verification levels as well. You can see at the moment I have gold status, which is the top status. You just need to keep, every time that you purchase, it's like another verification, okay, we'll up your limit, we'll up your limit, we'll up your limit, uh, until you get to some of these, these bigger numbers, which allows you, you know, for, for me to buy Bitcoin and have it in my Bitrix wallet, I can generally do that within less than 10 minutes or about 10 minutes. It's really fast, it's really quick and really convenient. You pay a little bit more on the fees, but only a little bit, but I don't mind because of the speed of service that I get and that it's very, the customer service has been very, very good. Only had one issue and they sorted it pretty much instantaneously. Also look at your history. You can see being quite a busy boy, buying up some investments, been you know, looking at some ICOs, which we're going to talk about later. So I've been buying, buying up quite a lot of them. And also you have Telefriend. So a little bit of a referral program as such. I think Coinbase has one as well. I mean, it's not much. It's only like a, a euro for every thousand that someone spends. But if you're someone that's got lots of money, then hey, you might you might get enough to get a Litecoin. So, and then at the top there, you just have your referral address that you can send to people. So really, really simple to set up. It's really very much automated and I just really, really like it. So that's Bitpanda. If you liked today's video, please leave a like or a comment. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, or check out the new ICO Discount Club website where you can check out all the new ICOs, great discounts, and also prize giveaways. As always, I hope you got great value out of today's video and I'll catch you on the next one soon. I'm feeling